Now the Constructors title was decided in Suzuka. It's now hopefully time to decide the Drivers World Championship in Mexico. A place where the Drivers World title has been decided two times before. But will it be decided this weekend? Or will Lewis Hamilton have to wait until the US Grand Prix? Well, in today's video, I'm going to preview whether Lewis Hamilton can win the World Championship this weekend in Mexico and how all the teams are going to do. And also give, of course, my predictions for this Grand Prix. If you want to find out how I think this weekend is going to unfold, then make sure to check out this video. Before we get into this weekend, though, let's look at last year's Mexican Grand Prix. And last year, of course, we've had Lewis Hamilton win his fifth world championship for Mercedes. Also, Max Verstappen and Red Bull continued their domination of this Grand Prix. It was also a Grand Prix where Renault basically confirmed P4 in the Constructors, something they won't be doing in 2019. And it was looking so good for home driver last year, Sergio Perez, who was running very strongly in the points, but then he had to retire from the race. Hopefully a better weekend is in store for Perez. But this Grand Prix does have a habit of producing winners who, let's say, given the course of certain seasons, are not exactly expected. By the way, these stats are based on Grand Prix in Mexico at this track, not the other track they used to use back in the 1960s. But this is a Grand Prix I absolutely cannot wait for because not only does this track produce not great races but definitely good races but also the atmosphere at this track is exactly what Formula 1 should be about. But now let's get into the teams and how they are going to do and start off with the world champions for 2019 Mercedes and the driver's title fight going on down in Mexico where Lewis Hamilton can win his sixth world championship just like he won his fourth and fifth in Mexico as well. But him winning the world title this weekend really depends on how quick Ferrari and Red Bull are. Because if Ferrari and Red Bull are very quick and are right up there with Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, then Lewis Hamilton can absolutely close the deal this weekend. But if the Mercedes car is really good, then Valtteri Bottas will most likely be in the podium positions. And that's what Lewis Hamilton does not need if he wants to win it this weekend. And these are, by the way, the World Championship permutations going into this Grand Prix. So Lewis Hamilton has to outscore Valtteri Bottas by 12 points. So, for example, a win and a fastest lap with Bottas in P4 or lower would be enough for Lewis to win the title. But as long as Lewis outscores Bottas by 12 points, then Lewis has won the championship. But I don't think Lewis will win it this weekend because I do think the Mercedes car will go well in Mexico because aerodynamically that car is so good. And if you look at the last couple of years, in terms of the race winners, aerodynamic grip has been very important too, going very well at this track. And because Bottas in the last few races has actually not done that bad and his results have actually been quite good at times, I don't think Lewis will get it clinched here. But well, that's also because I don't think Ferrari, as we move on to them now, I don't think Ferrari are going to be that competitive. Because as we've seen in the past here at this track, because of the altitude we race at at this Grand Prix, the power advantage that Ferrari do have is not really going to matter. And that's why in the last two or three years, Red Bull have been able to compete for race victories at this track. So if they don't get pole position Ferrari, I don't see how Ferrari can really compete seriously for race victory or even at times for a podium because Ferrari do struggle a lot with tyre wear and tyre wear is something you've got to get right at this track. If you're struggling on your tyres in this heat around the fast, long corners, you are going to struggle. Just look at Mercedes in last year's Grand Prix in 2018 where... They were struggling a lot on their tyres and that's why Ferrari beat them in the race. But of course in 2019 Ferrari are the ones who really do struggle on their tyres. So I don't think Ferrari are going to have that good of a weekend. But one team who I do think will be good this weekend is Red Bull Racing. Because in the last two years they have had the best car at this Grand Prix. 
And they also have a driver in Max Verstappen who has dominated the races of 2017 and 2018 to go on to victory. So I think Red Bull, going into the weekend, of course we don't know what the pace is like in practice or anything like that, but I think Max Verstappen in that Red Bull has to be the favourite to win because in the past he's been so dominant here. And as long as the Red Bull car is working and Max Verstappen is on form, he is going to be so hard to beat. But also because the Red Bull car will be good, that will give Alexander Albin a good chance to maybe get his first podium in Formula 1. And all Albin has to do is be within 2 or 3 tenths of a second and I think he can do that. Because Max Verstappen, I really do expect to be fighting for race victory. And in the race especially, I think the Red Bull car will be very strong. So look out for Albon. He could get his first podium in his Formula 1 career. Before we head into the midfield though, let's look at the Drivers' Championship standing. So Lewis Hamilton is P1 again. He does need to outscore Valtteri Bottas by 12 points. Valtteri is P2. Leclerc P3. Verstappen and Vettel locked on the same points in P4 and P5. Carlos Sainz is P6. Gasly is P7. Albon P8, Perez P9, and Lando Norris is of course P10. Now you may be thinking, where are the Renault drivers after the result in Suzuka? Well, let's now get into the midfield and why Renault don't have their drivers in the top 10 of the drivers' championship anymore. As we now move on to Renault, because their brake bias system, which was under investigation after a protest by Racing Point, has been deemed illegal and they have been removed from the results of the 2019 Japanese Grand Prix, thereby basically eliminating any hope of finishing fourth in the constructors, even though we knew Renault were not going to finish there anyway. And that just tops off what an absolute horrific 2019 this has been for two drivers in a team that should have been performing a lot better considering how great they are in terms of the personnel. But well, that's just the way Renault have been in 2019. I'm not going to cover it massively here, the whole story. I will be doing a separate video on that after the US Grand Prix. Looking at Renault, how they've cheated and what this means for their future. But for this weekend, Renault should have a good car to compete in the top 10. But I don't see great things this weekend. I think maybe Daniel Ricciardo might be able to get in there with one of the McLaren drivers, say Lando Norris, for a, a P8, P9. But as a team, I just don't see Renault having a good enough car to get a result that they could consider to be a great result. Because I expect McLaren, who will go on to now, to have the best car in the midfield, something they've had plenty of times in 2019. And the reason they've had that is because the McLaren car, if you watch the car on track, it is so comfortable and easy to drive for drivers Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris. And it's a very, very well handling car and that's exactly what you're going to need if you're going to be good in that midfield battle this weekend. So I expect McLaren again to finish at the very front of the midfield pack. For the rest of the midfield though, we have Alfa Romeo. I don't think Alfa will be that good because in the last few races, Alfa really dropped off from where I thought they should be. And I just don't think their car is suited to a track like this. And the same pretty much goes for Haas. And Haas are going to be even worse than Alfa because historically Haas have never had a hope of doing well in Mexico. One team to look out for in the midfield though is Toro Rosso because with the engine differences basically being eliminated, the Toro Rosso car fundamentally is a very good car and with them only 6 points away from Renault now in the constructors, definitely look out for Toro Rosso because they are going to be quick, they're going to be right in there with teams like Renault and they might be able to climb more so towards Renault and the constructors after the weekend is finished. And also definitely look out for Racing Point, a team whose car has massively improved in the last few races. And of course, for Sergio Perez, it is his home Grand Prix. And if you look at him since 2015 at his home Grand Prix, most of the time Perez has done the best he could. He won't be that great in qualifying, nor will the Racing Point car. But in the race, Perez and the Racing Point team are going to be in there somewhere. And they need to if they want to climb this, the Constructors' Table of 2019. So, of course, Mercedes are top 
and they cannot be caught as they are the world champions for 2019. Ferrari are P2, Red Bull are P3, McLaren are now clearly P4. Renault are now P5 still, but a lot closer to Toro Rosso and Racing Point, who are P6 and P7. Alpha are miles away in P8, Haas are P9, and Williams are last. So a key battle to watch out for this weekend because of the constructors table is the battle between Renault, Toro Rosso and Racing Point because those cars are going to be close in terms of pace and whoever wins that battle this weekend it really could decide who finishes where in the constructors. But now let's get to the final part of this video the predictions for this Grand Prix. Now for qualifying I think Lewis Hamilton will get pole position because I think the Mercedes car will be good enough to get pole and Lewis I think will be keen to get on pole position to try and win the world championship this weekend. Max Verstappen I think will be P2 in qualifying and P3 I'm going to go for Valtteri Bottas and then the race I'm going to go for Verstappen to win. He's going to beat Lewis Hamilton down to turn one just like he did in 2018. And then second will be Lewis Hamilton, third Valtteri Bottas, and the World Championship will continue until Texas. But let me know, guys, in the comment section down below, do you think the World Championship will be decided this weekend? If you do, let me know. If you don't, then also let me know. And for all the teams and drivers, how do you think they'll do this weekend in Mexico City? Let me know in the comments section down below and also don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and also hit the like button for more content like this as well. And don't forget guys, I will be back at 6.30pm UK time on Friday night for the practice to watch along for, of course, the 2019 Mexican Grand Prix. So until then guys, it has been me, Chazer HD. goodbye.